Det er klar. Imagine you have a heart condition. Every day you feel short of breath and experience chest pain. In the future you might develop heart failure. There's also a 50% chance that your children will develop your condition and that places them at risk of sudden cardiac death. Well, this condition is called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and there are no available treatments. How must that feel? This is why my research is so important. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is common. It affects one in 500 of the population. It's characterized by excessive thickening of the heart muscle, but we don't know what makes it thick. Part of the problem is that to study the heart muscle, we have to take a biopsy, but I'm sure you can understand why we're short of willing volunteers. We then take that biopsy, chop it up, and squeeze it onto slides to study it under a microscope, but then it bears very little resemblance to its original 3D form. So my research has been about visualizing the cells in their natural state. And the solution to this problem was actually very simple. It's all to do with water. Diffusion is the word given to describe the tiny movements made by water molecules. When you draw water up through a straw, the shape these tiny movements make reflects the shape of the straw. Well, the same goes for the cells in your body. The diffusion within can tell us about the shape of your cells. So we've developed a new MRI technique which exploits this property and has enabled us to visualize the cells within the living, beating hearts of patients. And it turns out they wrap around the heart a bit like strings, so I'm quite literally pulling at heart strings. And my results are really interesting. When we looked at healthy volunteers, we observed that the cells not only contract, but they also rotate. And this appears to be important for muscle relaxation. But when we took our patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the cells were able to contract, but not rotate and relax. This is a novel finding. The muscle is thick because the heart's stuck in contraction. Diffusion MRI is helping us to understand hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and giving hope to patients for future treatment innovations so that maybe one day I can stop pulling on your heartstrings. Thank you.